you guys it's Steve this is Guardians 3000 issue 3 the first two issues were really great both of action and the most great thing is the best great thing is on those issues that the artwork and it continues over here in the issue 3 also hope you guys will enjoy this one and the story is really dynamic it's not static or it's not a linear kind of thing the artwork sometimes it's really very sexy for this girls I don't know whether you guys will find it sexy but I'm in the mood for this one so here we go what they say about this one who are the stark that what is their aim can the guardians survive a little clash with such formidable entities content please note that content portions of a review make content spoilers I'm gonna do it before there's a lot of things in this issues review that gonna spoil anything about this story. So the opening two issues of Guardians 3000 has been an almost non-stop piece of action with some fun exposition and a threat to and and all realities face to say it hit the ground stunning in a big way repeated a bit and has gone off even bigger as time goes on some books can survive just through the kinetic energy of the storyline itself and the artwork and abnet and sandoval are certainly providing proving that there don't get me wrong though there's definitely a grand story happening here but it's all about the moment right now or just trying to survive and figure out where what's going on before you can do anything with the realization that events were repeating breaking free from that cycle and being unpredictable is a big change in the game the introduction of the a sentinels in the previous issue was just one more complication along the way one that ended up destroying the ship this manages to work in the book's favor though because it narrows the curse down to just three for a bit as we follow the survivors of one escape pod with Charlie 27, Gina and Yundu. This is a really fun dynamic between them as they wake up on some large barren rock and try to stay positive which is a great bit of back and forth by itself. The personalities for all of them come through well here including Charlie's interest in Gina and there's also some good moments for Gina when she insists on not being protected as she's working alongside them now that's something that Yundu finds very appealing and his glance of approval isn't exactly subtle but it's a great bit to see while you expect it. Yondu and Charlie 27 to work well together Gina manages to blend in just right that is uh, pretty much other things kind of thing so hope you guys will like it because I really liked it and I'm sure you guys will like it what this book wants to do is to expand its roster a bit through it it will take a little bit to get there with them fighting back against the a sentinels which are also calling themselves the stark they managed to capture one of the units from the shared collective group and integrate it a bit. It's connected but separate since it's being damaged keeps it from fully connecting with this kind of group consciousness. The time spent talking with it is definitely worthwhile, especially as I loved how casually the team mentions having worked with the real stock before which it holds in reverence as the progenitor. So there's a potentially expansive uh, history to explore with this race not that I really expect that with this kind of book you can see how this unit could easily become a player on the side of the Guardians and that's not something I'd be displaced kind of thing I'd be displayed displeased by because it adds a very very different feeling from the rest of the team damn this book is fun really fun right now we are dealing with the simple trapping of the end of the realty and plucky and varied group of people that are going to try and stop it providing they can survive a few more minutes without a ship blowing up what the book does is just enjoy everything that it's doing and and Sento will really feel like they get each other here in how to present it as the dialogue is quick and engaging but given even more context with the expressions and style of the moment so I hope you guys have enjoyed it so go to the story if you like the book just go to the story if you like the review and buy this book and enjoy the evening of this weekend